Another way of setting up the project is to use Gradle command line to generate a project and add each of the dependencies to the build file. So if for some reason you decide not to use the dead simple spring initializer, here's how to set up the project manually using Gradle. I've opened up a terminal, creating a folder for the project, and cd into it. And I'll create the Gradle init task with the type Java library. Init is a task of the build init plugin. You can read more about it in the Gradle documentation. Basically, it can be used to create a project by providing the specific type of project to generate. It currently supports a few types such as Java library, Java application, Scala library, etc. I'm using Java library here, but you could use Java application as well. And it doesn't make any difference for this project because I'll change the build file to my requirement later. Done. And let's look at the generated project. Here's a folder structure created. And the build file. I'll remove some of the comments here to make it more clearer. Now we have to do a bit of work here to make this a Spring Boot build file. First, let's look at the plugins. There's a Java library plugin added here in the plugins section, but instead of the Java library plugin, what I want is the simple Java plugin. So I'll remove this and add the Java plugin. And then I'll add the Eclipse plugin as well. This Eclipse plugin will allow me to generate the Eclipse configuration files so that I can import this project into Eclipse. If you're using IntelliJ, you would want to add that plugin here instead of the Eclipse. I think it's called IDEA. This Java and Eclipse plugins are core Gradle plugins and they come with the Gradle distribution. So I only provide the simple name which is Java or Eclipse to add them. But if you want to add a community plugin which does not come with the Gradle distribution, you should provide the fully qualified name and the version. Since these plugins aren't available in Gradle distribution, there should be a way to resolve the plugin. Or in other words, we should tell Gradle how to find the plugin jar file before it can be applied. If the plugin is available in the plugins portal, Gradle will download and use the plugin from the portal. Let's see how to do this. This project needs two plugins which are not core Gradle plugins. The Spring Boot plugin and the Spring Dependency Management plugin. So let's look them up in the Gradle plugins portal. First, I'll look for the Spring Boot plugin. Here it is. So I need to grab the ID of the plugin, which is ORG Spring Framework Boot. And then I also need the version, which is 2.1.8. Now search for the Spring Dependency plugin. The ID is io.spring.dependencymanagement. And the version is 1.0.8. And then I'll add the group ID and the source compatibility. And then add the Spring Boot Starter Dependencies here in the Dependencies section. So that's all there is to be done here. The next step is to generate the Eclipse files and import this into Eclipse. I have opened up a terminal and then cd into the project folder. Now I'm going to use the Eclipse plugin that I added in the build file. Dot slash gradle w Eclipse. Eclipse is a task of the Eclipse plugin which generates all Eclipse configuration files. That's complete. So if you look at the project folder, all the config files are present. Now in Eclipse, I'll right click on the project explorer and select import. And then under the general section, select existing projects into workspace. Now browse into the project folder. So here you can see that the project folder has been identified as an Eclipse project. Click finish. Great, here's the project imported in Eclipse.